And here we are with another devlog. Awesome. So wait, wait, wait. I've been working on this past week and <laughs> mostly today. Uh, some art assets. I added some scrubs, a syringe and scalpel, and a N32 mask. Um, the N32 mask does not provide very much or very good protection. <laughs> it's the bare minimum. <laughs> then also, hey, look at this. What are these little park particle effects. That's right, I also did some particles. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching my video. Um, doing art assets takes a long time. It does. These graphics, long time. Uh, so, I did some bug fixes, and I also changed the auto-equip logic, so it actually makes more sense. Um, wait, do I actually have anything here? Let me check. I have some blue stuff. Okay, so if we go to a sky character, uh, let's look at wine here. So you see that she has a yellow skill. Um, and so when you click auto equip, it's going to prioritize the skill. And um, only if you have something that. Uh, doesn't match the skill. Does that make sense? So basically, um, you can you can set your own uh, skills skill boost regardless of what the actual skill is. So you could have like a healer with all attack equipment to boost that attack skill. Um, uh, stat, build the attack stat. Cool, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, auto equip. So we have some yoga pants that are blue, but we have better ones signified by the dot. We have a t-shirt signified by a dot, but it doesn't have anything on it for a skill. And we have some none equipment. So if we click auto equip, what do you think is going to happen? That's right. Everything except this is going to change because it's none. So, um, what we can do when it's a none, we can go in and this is telling us, it's going to tell us if it's better stats no matter what. Uh, this gothic dress is better. It actually matches a sky character, but it's not yellow to boost up the uh, statistician. So that's still low. Um, the little money bag means there's something better in the shop. So in this case, there's a better blue thing in the, in the shop. So, and then there's a better yellow weapon in the shop. If we actually go there to the shop, under the equipment. So this was saying there's a better blue, which is this. Um, but this is actually matching her skill, this yellow thing. So that's what we actually want. So we're going to buy that. Uh, what else did I say? Better yellow weapon? Yeah, yeah, daggers appear in here a lot. So, we could just go out and buy daggers, or we could just upgrade them. Uh, what else did this character have? I should have made a note of all her equipment. Um, oh, the accessory. Cool. So, we bought some stuff. If we click auto-equip, it does not change. But, if we manually equip to the school... Ta-da! So we've bought the best school blouse. And these daggers, we can enhance them. These are pretty low, though. 51, 60. I don't have any stones. So either we can just buy stones, or we can just buy uh, some better daggers in the store. I'm not going to waste money on that. Uh, the pants, yeah, we don't have lightning pants. So cool. So let's check the store for... <clears throat> Some lightning equipment, helm, accessory, badge, and shoes. Uh, go back to here, here. So the helm, we, there's no lightning. Accessory, oh, there's a uh, school collar. We'll get this one. The badge, no lightning badge. And then the pants, no lightning pants. Man, look at all these scrubs, jeez. All right, yay RNG. Hey, we have some uh, we have some de defense scrubs. That's cool. <laughs> so your uh, your tank can be wearing some scrubs. 
You know what? I may just throw some on her. You know what? That's ridiculous. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy... Waste my money on some... Defense scrubs. And of course, since these are almost... Maxed out, that this is a dumb move. Because these have lower stats. But... Hey, we get to play dress up. Let's update our picture too, because she looks better than that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this kind of works. And yeah, so uh, this is saying, hey, there, there's something better in your equipment. Auto equip, boom, awesome, magic. And then we go back to wine. Whoops, back to wine. If we do auto-equip now, it's going to automatically equip the school collar. There wasn't a helmet, was there? Oh, hairpin. Bleh. She's not a critical character, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, demo purposes only. And yeah, update our picture. So there we go. She is better decked out using our auto-equip stuff. Uh, what's next? Um, bug fixes, bunch of bug fixes, uh, hopefully some better things with, um, like this stuff. So, let's roll on the standard banner. So, previously you'd have, like, let's get a bunch of particles on here. Uh, when a thing pops up, the mouse and whatnot would stick on the screen, so that's better. And boom, hey, uh, we got... More particle effects. So these particle effects, they change depending on what tier you got. Ooh. So the higher the rarity, then the more particle effects are going to be around. And you are? Oh, just a common. So yeah, common doesn't have very much. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's also for the library. So... <clears throat> if we actually retrain her... Oh, we need to create a book first. Um, who is garbage? Uh, you're kind of garbage. Um, wait. I got lightning, lava, and sky. Uh, I want to keep the lightning. Um, hold up. So lava... Yeah, I can burn the lava person. I'll turn her into a book. Then uh, sky... Yeah, yeah, we want to upgrade you. So yeah, when we... The startup effects... We can start up. Gives you the warning. Boom! And then, when that startup actually happens, boom, big money. Awesome. Man, I'm glad the RNG kind of worked out there. <laughs> I forgot, completely forgot about that stuff. Um, yeah. So, power. We're going to turn you into a book? Yes. Okay, turn into a book. Then we're going to retrain her skill. So, if you notice down here where it says statistician, man, I hope this changes. RNG is kind of, yeah. Okay, so when I click on this book, and when I click OK, watch down here. Boom. So now there's a visual indicator that, hey, the skill changed. If it changes into the exact same skill it was, which it does because RNG is, you know, uh, she has bonk now. That's, eh, it's whatever. So since I changed her skill, all her equipment, all this lightning equipment, eh, not really that good. Uh, it doesn't match the skill, so it's not going to provide the, uh, good buffs. Um, yeah. Then the world boss. So, I'm not actually going to fight the boss. Um, if you get a higher score, then the leaderboard should update. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed the bond loss, which you can't see yet. 
I think this upcoming week I'm going to work on um, viewing the actual Bond stuff. Like maybe I have a heart icon or something in here. Man, these particles work for good pointers. Um, like maybe here. So uh, the higher the Bond, then the graphic of the heart will change. Or if it goes down, it's going to change. It goes negative. Um, hopefully I get that done this week. I did change the values so that whenever you go on a successful mission, bond increases by one. If you lose, uh, if you fail the quest, then everyone bond goes down by 10 and bond can go into the negative down to negative 99 and, um, future dev, I'm going to have negative effects applied to stats and whatnot. Uh, <sighs> And then, uh, if you win, but if if you win, but someone has been fainted, they will get an injury, and their bond will go down by five. So, so a little bit of a penalty there. If you have a character with explosion, then uh, uh, their bond is going to be just trash, absolute trash. Do you have someone with explosion? Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to search through everyone. I know these people don't. Ah, oh well. Maybe I can demo it next week. Cool. The quest. Uh, there's a big... Um, everyone's kind of getting stuck at like mid-game. So previously, these little quest ribbons, uh, they were being put on quests randomly. The higher rank you were, the less of a chance a quest would reward a ribbon rank. So I changed it so that whenever this is refreshed, the first five quests, no matter what they are, they're going to be a, uh, a ribbon. Award a ribbon, yes. That is it. Um, I can show particle effects on here. So hopefully this is completely obnoxious because cats are supposed to be completely obnoxious oh, this is not my attack team that's cool i think she's strong enough so yes i'm going to clear this row right here and cats go boom awesome that's basically it for this game here is where i do the outro talking of hey do you want to play this game it is free still in alpha because I mean yeah I have most of the game mechanics in here um, so I'm focusing more on the art assets uh, like these this backgrounds and I'm using a lot of placeholder graphics that are AI generated I'm going to remove all the AI generated stuff because it's just it's all placeholders and I can do graphics um, so a good example like on this chase quest again i didn't change my tuning but this is my fast person so i did all the background imagery for this there's no ai graphics in here except for the obstacle log so the game the final game is going to look more like this style of art and graphics yay I mm, believe that's it. Thanks for watching. This is where I put the. Uh, ooh, this is where I put the. Please watch another video. Yeah, please like and subscribe. And um, uh, did I complain about the Discord? Yes, join the Discord. That has a link. That tells you where the link is to download the game. Um, when you download it, since it's alpha. Uh, Windows or whatever is going to be like, oh no, it's a virus, but it's not a virus. Um, I think I talked about this before where uh, once I once I get this put on Steam, that whole virus problem becomes less of an issue. Yay, key qu quest done. Um, yeah, we good? I think we're good. Thanks for watching. Bye.